Jacksonville Jaguars will go to the Tennessee Titans on Thursday, October 27th on CBS in Week 8 NFL action. Since the start of the 2014 season, the Jaguars and the Titans have combined for a record of just 18 to 59. Just when it looks like the Titans are getting things turned around and may post their first winning season since 2011, they lose at home in an ugly game to the Indianapolis Colts. The Jaguars lost last week to the Raiders and have not won three games in a row since 2013. The Titans are three and a half point favorite early in the week for this AFC South pillow fight. Sarcasm aside, these two teams are going in the right direction. Jacksonville has a shot at eclipsing last season's win total, but they have regressed, particularly on offense. The Jaguars are bringing in better individual talent, but Gus Bradley doesn't appear to be the guy to maximize it. Tennessee has matched last season's win total, and the team has shown improvement across the board. The Jacksonville Jaguars are 2-4 straight up and 2-3-1 and one against the number. They lost as a favorite by 17 points on Sunday. To give you an idea of how improved the Jaguars are, they have not been a bigger underdog than 3.5 points this season. The Jaguars' offense is putrid, and that's being nice. Blake Bortles has a 9-9 touchdown interception ratio, and Jacksonville has averaged just 3.7 yards per carry. The Jaguars have had 20 plays of 20 yards or more in the passing game, so opportunities are there when Blake Bortles is accurate and not under pressure. But those times are very rare. The Jacksonville defense has been very good. It may not show up in the team's record or the points allowed column, but the Jaguars have only allowed 4.8 yards per carry this season, which is on par with Seattle. The main downside with this season's defensive performance is that the Jaguars have only forced five turnovers in six games. They have held the opposition under four yards per carry and well over 10 yards per reception. Jacksonville is 29th in defensive starting field position, so the offense has not made it easy on the defense at all. The Jaguars are also having issues on third down as opponents have converted 44.6% of their third down plays. Tennessee Titans were favored for the second straight week and failed to cover. They are 3 and 4 straight up, but just 2 and 5 against the spread this season. Last week, a late scoop and score for Indianapolis put the icing on the cake after Andrew Luck's 12 play, 70 yard touchdown drive late in the fourth quarter. Tennessee had the game's only turnover and only managed 331 yards. The Titans only had 207 passing yards on 37 attempts and 22 completions. The lack of playmakers in the passing game was evident for Marcus Mariota once again. Through six games, nobody has more than 27 receptions, and that player is running back to Marco Murray. Mariota has no vertical threat, and it shows. Murray ran for 107 yards and is having a tremendous bounce-back season behind one of the league's most underrated offensive lines. But this team just does not have the right skill players. Defensively, the Titans have been playing very well until the Colts racked up almost 350 passing yards. The Titans' defense is pretty much average across the board, aside from the turnover column. They've been above average against the run, holding the opposition to 3.9 yards per carry. And the defensive line and the linebackers have played well against the pass with 20 sacks. Only four teams have forced a turnover on a lower percentage of drives than the Titans. Even though Tennessee's defense under Dick LeBeau has had strong game plans most weeks throughout the season, the lack of turnovers has made it hard for the offense to keep pace. On a short week, in a game where defenses should dominate, points will be at a premium in Nashville. There is not a big coaching edge in this game because both Mike Malarkey and Gus Bradley should be coordinators and not head coaches. Neither defense has forced many turnovers this year, so we'll see lots of punting in this game which tells us to go with the points. Our pick and prediction is for the Jacksonville Jaguars at plus three and a half. Click over now and check out all the NFL and NCAA football odds on the board and make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.